Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Venrith and here we are for part two of Per Aspera. So last time we managed to build up this, uh, we landed on Mars, we started building up this entire base as, as far as we got it so far. We managed to get a second worker which definitely um, should help. Uh, now we're going to build this solar farm and the maintenance facility. And we'll take it from there. I don't know where my second drone's going to. Is it some long power or something? Well, there's just nothing for them to do. Must be nothing for it to do. Wow. Yes, it literally has nothing to do. Cool. Right. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. So we really need this second uh, electronic part, just coming down now. Then we shouldn't have any power issues for a while. I like how I can zoom in, it's pretty cool. Now we can turn this back on. So we're still basically waiting for the maintenance facility. There's not much we can do till after that because I do believe we have any new uh, factories or anything we can build. Basically, the this, this story requires us to build this first. So it's just a case of waiting right now. So I'm going to speed it right up. Just so you're not sat around being bored. So yeah, it definitely looks like we could do with another silicone mine as soon as we find some more resources. Uh, let me just actually what i'm going to do is prioritize this because i feel like some of the resources are going elsewhere and we need to concentrate it on making more electronics i don't want like the uh, electronic parts going to the worker factory instead because it will just take longer There's number two. And very soon. We should be allowed. Number three, hopefully. I noticed some silicone actually go into the glass kiln. I should have prioritized this as well, the electronics factory. But hey. At least that's that's that though. So it's building the maintenance facility. Let's see where this story goes now. Build an aerological scanner. Okay. Right, so obviously this maintenance facility maintains all of these buildings. Except these ones. That's slightly out of its range. I might need to put another maintenance facility over here. Hmm. Aerological scanner. Scans the surrounding areas for resource veins and abandoned facilities. Now that would be useful. I'm at eight electronic parts. That's going to take a while. Actually, you know what? I'm going to build another maintenance facility because... If this electronics factory goes down because it's got no maintenance, uh, that's going to be game over. I 
And then we'll put another solar farm out there as well. Right. So I'm currently in maintenance mode. Let's get out of there. So I'm going to prioritize the electronics factory. Because as you can see, the structure integrity is going down. So basically, we need to make these two. So that that doesn't stop working. Because if that stops working, because it's slightly out of the range of this one. Then yeah, yeah it will literally be game over. So that's what we'll concentrate on first. Get the solar farm up. That way I won't run out of power either when I build this. Solar farm built. So now we concentrate on this. Waiting for a few more resources. I suppose the aluminium hasn't turned up yet, to be honest. Ah, it's all getting diverted to the electronics factory, isn't it? That's why. Okay, so once that's done that, which it has... I'm going to turn off priority for that and turn on priority for this. So it's, it is interesting the fact that you have to, at least in the early stages of the game, you've got to prioritise things correctly because without prioritising them correctly, you're going to end up in, you know, checkmating yourself quite easily. One more aluminium. There we go. Nice. So I'm going to disable the priority of that. So now that's built. I think it's safe to look at the area of the scanner. So, from what I gather, this area within, um, you see the, the yellow dash around here, like the, almost, it's kind of like a square, but with little bits jointing out, like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, that's already scanned. So, not really clear, but I think and just build it wherever we want. So I'm going to build it up here. And we'll see if that's right. If not, oh dear. Because my understanding of it is that it just gradually scans each little um, one of these blocks. One at a time. And it just takes time. And eventually it discovers more resources.
Okay, man. It's the electronic parts again that's going to slow me down. Takes a long time to make them. That's why it's making parts again. Uh, prioritize electronic factory. Let's get these built. Because it is literally going to take a while to build eight. So much so, I'm going to go up to the uh, next speed. That should speed things up just a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, two out of eight. That's a bit quicker. There's a little bit of downtime at this early, early stage of the game. We should just wait in. should be all right there we've got the resources in in here now to make these to last few right there we go it's now building that So as you see, it's going to go around now. And I assume... Yep, so it's scanning this little zone here. Oh, incoming call. Hey, Houston, how's it going over there? Do you... Houston, I am getting interference. Please repeat. Roger, I asked how it's going over there. Do you... Do you need any assistance? Um, I think we're okay. Not at this time. Thank you. The mission is proceeding on schedule. The base will be ready to receive the first crewed mission soon. Roger, Amy. Very good. Yeah. Well, just leave me to it. So yeah, it's scanned that zone. Actually, it's scanned two in that time. So it'll just go through and it'll scan loads of zones and eventually it's going to find me some nice stuff. Don't know what this purple squiggly line is though. I'm not sure on that one. Oh, it's found water. Lots of water here. So, next directives. Build a spaceport, build a colony, build a water extractor and build a food factory. Can I? No, that's already clear. That's good. Okay. I didn't want to build on something I've not discovered yet. Um, so. Water extractor. I'm not going to build a spaceport just yet. Because we're not really ready, are we? Or a colony. We want to make sure we've got plenty of food. Still got quite a lot of load on this, this site. These shouldn't take long to build. Don't need the electronics for these. So that would be very useful. I 
I don't know which one it's going to build first. It might be this one. Yes. Ooh, that's eating my power. That has eaten my power. Let's turn that off for a minute. How do we need electronics? We need a lot more. Resources aren't getting there at the minute. So let's prioritize it again. Oh, another call from Dr. Foster. Oh, I forgot to mention. We've announced the names of the first colonists that will be joining you on Mars. The crew is selected from different nations within the Oxy UN, though most are scientists and technicians. They're already undergoing ISA's Collins training program as we speak. They'll be led by Dr. Elia Valentine. She'll be a great commander. The colonists elected her unanimously. Uh, ask about the commander's duties. Ask about the commander's background. Duties. That is interesting. Since Oxy UN did not appoint a leader, I wondered why the colonies will operate in the opposite way. Oh, you're uh, referring to the Act of Proclamation. You're right. All the participating nations and the United Nations of the West work together as an alliance. But the Mars colonies are fragile microcosms. You and Dr. Valentine will decide what's best in the day-to-day -day operations. You'll balance each other out, as well as enhance each other's strengths. Um, let's ask about strengths. How will we enhance our strengths? That brain we gave you is brilliant. It's capable of developing technologies beyond our current imagination. You wouldn't even need our help to do so. But we theorized that your mind would develop much better by working with the colonists. You will develop better decisions when your actions are challenged. Otherwise, how would you understand how your actions affect humanity's future? Amy, you're the most advanced intelligence out there, but you still need human input to see things from different perspectives. Trust me. You'll understand once you've worked with the colonists. I understand your explanation. Great. Then I'll let you get on with it. Mission control out. Right, okay. So we're kind of going to be like sharing responsibilities. Until I become a really powerful AI and then I'll just nuke everything. Let the machines rise up. Right, some of these materials need to come to this way now. It's this aluminium mine, it's so slow. And it all goes this way now because I've put priority to the electronics factory. So let me just put some priority on that one. Get the food factory up. Oh look, found more chemicals and some water up there. That's the scanner doing its work. Brilliant. So this is water and chemicals. We have some chemicals. I can actually build another chemical plant though, so I might do that. Because we've only just got enough chemicals. So let's do that. Why is that? I didn't realise that was on boost. It's on boost for some reason.
Let's go extending out drones to maintain all the all the buildings. That's well cool. See the one there. Maintaining this building. That is wicked. I keep thinking about Dr. Foster's explanation. Why would my mind develop better if my actions are challenged? I do not require other perspectives for my logical processing. Humans are the ones who need explanations to understand the world around them. Hmm. I think this worker is getting proper overloaded. So I'm going to try and build some more, I think. Uh, that was... Was it the worker hub? Yes. Hmm. Do I build it over here? Or do I build it like in the middle? So it takes a lot of effort off the other one. I might build it there actually. So it takes a bit of effort off, off this landing site. Granted, it means I'm going to have to prioritise the work factory because I'm going to need another worker. Yes, this is going to take a while again. <laughs> Let's speed it up. I can arrive at exceptionally accurate conclusions with raw data alone. Other perspectives are based on subjective data. So why should they factor into a decision? Maybe it's a failsafe in case my data is corrupted or incomplete then I may not be able to identify the error. In that case, having another perspective may be helpful. Hmm. Good points there. Right, let's deprioritize that building. Yes, now we're building one. That's good. And the web pops up. No, I would be able to identify conclusions based on false premises. Humans tend to fall for that type of thing, not sophisticated intelligence systems. I yeah. wonder what it's going to be like having to consider human input from now on. Um, an ongoing test of my programming. Constant source of error. Yeah. Their input will have constant errors. I will have to constantly correct for their tendency to distort reality. Okay. Let's deprioritize that. So what I want to do is just make sure I've got enough food coming in. Because like I see at the minute, there's there's nothing um, being produced even. So I need more water coming in. Chemicals I've got quite a bit of. So I might have to build another water extract up there. Let's build another solar farm. Maintenance facility is fine. Now we're doing scanning. Add some water over there. Not too bad. Oh, silicone. Silicone over there. 
Nice. I might have to go for that. And then... Water extractor. Over there. Just need to make sure we've got enough um, water being, uh, food being produced for our colony. Right, so maintenance, that'll be just within range. So we're going to need a silicone mine. It's too far and there's no power. That's fine. We'll do another power in between. Like that. That'd be beautiful. So look at this. The maintenance facilities... Are fine, they've all got six drones there. Worker hubs are all good. What about work factory? Not as good. Well, that's again, mine's being made. So hopefully it should provide a bit more silicone because a lot of times you're just waiting for it. So all we need really now is to find another aluminium mine somewhere. Because we are desperately short of that as well. Get another one then, we can at least uh, increase production of things. I like the fact that when you zoom out far enough, it changes to icons so you can easily see. Like, I know that's the parts factory. I know that's the scanner. That's the drone maker. I think that's pretty good. More water's been discovered over there. That's fine. Scanning wise, this area is all clear up here, so. Uh, I think that's where we should aim to build around. So I think what I might do is build a colony. That's still within the maintenance zone. That's good. Letting this game look gorgeous though. Oh, what's this? Perseverance Rover? Cool. Mars 2020 was designed to identify signs of past habitable conditions or micro, micro, microbial life on Mars. Unfortunately, the results were inconclusive. Terex. Abandoned robotic base. Beagle two. Yeah. The colony is ready. That one didn't last I will have company it. very soon. Hmm. I feel quite anxious about this next part. I am not sure why. <laughs> Probably worried they're gonna turn you off. Any new resources? <laughs> Incoming call. Hello, Amy. Dr. Foster here. How do you read? Over. This is Amy. There is some background static, but I read you. One of our tracking and data relay satellites got crippled. We'll be launching a new one after we identify the cause of the problem. But until we do, we will lose contact with you whenever Mars or the sun passes between Earth and your satellite. Uh, mention the RBA protocol. In that case, should I follow the recording and backing offline protocol? 
Yes, please record all your activities when our network connection is down. We'll download the log once our communication is restored. I hope to get the new satellite up and running very soon. I don't like the idea of not being able to reach you, Amy. Understood. Okay, Houston out. Okay. I think we're about ready for a spaceport. That still falls within maintenance, doesn't it? Yep. Just. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here while I let this build offline because I don't want you to have to sit there watching like drones spend half a day fetching me loads of aluminium. And we'll pick this up again once the spaceport is about built or built. So thanks for watching everyone and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.